Lesson 5 homework. Draw an area model and then solve using the standard algorithm. Use arrows to match the partial products from the area model to the partial products in the algorithm. So we have 24 times 21. 24 is a two-digit number and 21 is a two-digit number. So I know that my area model is going to be a two by two. So I'm going to draw a two by two square and I'll have, I'm going to break 24 up into 20 plus 4 and break 21 into 20 plus 1 and now I'm going to multiply. So in this square we'll have 20 times 20. 20 times 20 is 400. Over here we'll have 20 times 4 which is 80. Here we'll have 20 times 1 which is 20 and then here we'll have 1 times 4 which is 4. And if we add all of those together, um, I'm going to add 80 and 20 and get 100. So then we have 400 plus 100 plus 4 would be 504. So let's see if that's what we get with our standard algorithm. So we have 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2. So there's 24, which matches right there. There's our 24. Remember, it told us to draw arrows. And then, now that I'm done with the ones place and moving on to the tens place, I need to put a zero in the ones place as a placeholder so that I can start in the tens place. So two times four is eight, and two times two is four. So we get 480, and that matches this part of the area model, which is 480. And if we add them together, we get 504. B, 242 times 21. So I know my area model is going to be 3 by 2. So I'll have 200 plus 40 plus 2 and 20 plus 1. So in here I have 20 times 200, which is 4,000. And here I have 20 times 40, which is 800. And then 20 times 2 is not 80, it is 40. Down here, 200 times 1 is 200. And 40 times 1 equals 40. And 2 times 1 equals 2. So if we add all of those together, up here we have these all add up to 4,840, and down here we have 242, and then if we add those together, 4,840 plus 242, we should get 5,082. So let's see if that's what we get with the standard algorithm. So we start in the ones place. One times two is two. One times four is four. One times two is two. Put our zero as the placeholder. Two times two is four. Two times four is eight. And two times two is four. So we have our 242 right here and our 4,840 right there. If we add them together, we get, whoops. 5,082, which does match our other answer. Okay, so now they just want us to use this standard algorithm, so we don't need to do the area model anymore. So we have 314 times 22. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Put our 0 down. Now we're done with the 1's place, on to the 10's. We always move from left to right, so I'm going to do 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Add everything together, get 6,908. Part B, 413 times 22. So starting in the ones place. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, put our 0 down, 
on to the tens place. Two times three is six. Two times one is two. Two times four is eight. Add everything together. We get 9,086. And part C, 213 times 32. Starting with the ones place. Two times three is six. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Put our placeholder down onto the tens place. Three times three is nine. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Add everything together. Two plus nine is 11. One plus four plus three is eight. So we get 6,816. Number three, a young snake measures 23 hundredths meters long. During the course of his lifetime, he will grow to be 13 times the current length. What is the length he will be when he is full grown? So we need to do 23 hundredths times 13. So when we're multiplying, we can just forget about the decimal point to start out with. So I'm just going to do 23 times 13. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Put my 0 down. We're done with 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. If I add everything together, I get 299. But now this is where the decimal point comes into play. So there's a trick that if you count how many digits in the problem are behind the decimal point, that's how many digits you move the decimal point over in your answer. So here, we have one, two digits behind a decimal point, the two and the three. The 13 don't have a decimal, the 13 does not have a decimal point, so we don't need to worry about that. So we're gonna start our decimal point over here at the end, where it always starts, and I'm gonna move it two places to the left. So it's going to end up right there, and our answer is going to be two and 99 hundredths meters. Zenin, earns $142 per shift at his new job. During a pay period, he works 12 shifts. What would his pay be for that period? So 12 shifts, and he makes $142 per shift. So we're gonna do 142 times 12. Two times two is four. Two times four is eight. Two times one is two. On to the tens place. One times two is two. One times four is four. One times one is one. Add them together. 1,704 dollars. And that's it.